going to give you a quick overview on our headliner that fit the John Deere 6000 series tractors. This would be the radio hole, dome light, speaker, speaker. We make this in uh, two different configurations, or I guess it's the same configuration, just two different materials. This is the perforated vinyl version. The original ones are perforated vinyls. Uh, it, it's a personal preference thing, but Deere has went to a uh, fabric material. As you can see, this one underneath here is a fabric. It's the same headliner. Uh, 6,000 will fit your 6,000 tractor. But There's uh, two different types of material we make these out of. One is a perforated vinyl facing. It's 18% perforated, meaning that 18% of the vinyl is actually gone. Uh, that vinyl being absent lets the sound get into the foam behind the vinyl, which is a sound absorption type of foam. If you get the camel hair fabric, it is the same construction with the foam behind it, but it's more open, it's a little more sound absorbent. The sound can get into the, the foam easier. So it's uh, up to you, but if it was my tractor, I'd definitely put in the fabric one. You can decide what you want. If you want it to be original, you want this 18% uh, perforated sailcloth headliner. It's uh, made with three layers. It's a perforated vinyl layer, a foam layer, 3 8 inch thick foam, and then uh, ABS plastic. The fabric one, exact same thing except it's fabric, foam, ABS layer. Um, when you go to put these things in your cab, just a little quick tip for you, they're pretty easy to install. They're, it's not very complicated, self-explanatory after you start popping them apart, but we will make a installation video and put it in. But uh, the, the best way to get them into the cab and get the old one out is through the back window. There's a couple gas cylinders on the side. Don't get too excited about taking those off. You can take these headliners and actually fold them up. You see a lot of wrinkles here. Now those will pop right out after you get it in the cab. So just go ahead and fold that thing up and hand it off to a guy that's already sitting in the tractor. It's almost impossible to get these things in there by yourself. Two-man job to get them in through that back window. But once you get them in through the back window, installation's pretty easy. Uh, these things are pretty indestructible. Don't worry about bending them up in the corners to get them installed around the post. Just bend them over, they'll snap back. And if you do get some wrinkles or creases, you know, if you hold it in this position for a while, that crease will be there, but it'll disappear the first warm day or after a couple of hours. So don't get excited if you get a wrinkle or two by folding it in. Um, there's a little excess material in these corners where the posts go. Just flip that up around the post like this, and then slide your post cover up to it, and it'll, everything will be covered. But we leave a little excess material in these corners for you to fold up and tuck inside there.